Hi guys, my name is Neil and I'm going to be your instructor for this course on Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Certification Practice Test for IASSC. I'm myself a certified master black belt with around two decades of experience in manufacturing and in banking. To start with, let's explain what is IASSC. IASSC is International Association for Six Sigma Certification. They are third party certifiers for yellow belt, green belt and black belt courses. So if you are an individual looking for Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Certification, then IASSC is certainly a international level accreditation that you can look for. There are also other options such as ASQ. Now, how does the certification for IASSC Green Belt happen? And how do you prepare for that? So that is the purpose of this course. So let me start by explaining about the certification procedure itself. The certification requirement includes passing an examination and this exam is for three hours. It's a closed book exam. It's a proctored exam. You can take the exam in pen and paper format or you can do it online. You can take it almost in uh, all, all the cities of the world, all the big cities of the world in almost all the countries. To know about exactly which is the closest location for you, you can look at IASSC's website. As I told you, this is a three hour exam and you would have 100 questions and you would have 20 questions from each of the five phases of Six Sigma. So you have define, measure, analyze, improve and control. And in each of these phases, you would have 20 questions. So all put together 100 questions and you can complete it in three hours. The questions would be either multiple choices or they would be true or false questions. Uh, one point I want to emphasize is that in addition to these 100 questions, there may also be 10 extra questions which are non-graded questions which are included in the examination and they are not for evaluating you but it's for making sure that cheating etc. doesn't happen in the uh, paper. So uh, those questions will be mixed up. You may not be able to identify them but uh, make sure that uh, you do all the questions with your full heart. Now, uh, talking more about the preparation for this certification. Uh, firstly, you should know what is the body of knowledge. You can go to IASSC website and that gives you a very good idea of what is the body of knowledge. You can download that. So that tells you what are the various topics or curricula for this particular course. Remember that uh, in IASSC, the green belt level is evaluated at uh, what is called as an evaluate level in Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom's taxonomy, when you Google, you will know what that is. Uh, it talks about the various levels of acquisition of knowledge. And in Bloom's taxonomy, uh, evaluate is last but one level. What are the various levels? It talks about remember, which means remembering a concept, understanding a concept. So that's the next one. And after that, can you apply the concept uh, given a scenario? Then the next step is analyze. So given an output of a particular concept, can you analyze that and produce a, a reasonable inference? And the last is evaluate. So given a scenario, can you evaluate and say which concept has to be applied and then apply that concept? So green belt expectation is that you are able to apply all the concepts of the body of knowledge at an evaluate level. So once you know what the body of knowledge is, next for you is to acquire the required knowledge, which can be done in broadly two ways. One is for you to look for books, which can help you to acquire this knowledge. There are a lot of books when you uh, Google or when you go to Amazon, you will find a lot of books. I'm including a sample of the first chapter of a book, uh, which is helpful for certification as well in this lecture. Uh, in addition to this, there are online courses. There are a lot of online courses which can also help you uh, to prepare for the certification. So this is one way of acquiring the knowledge. The other which IASSC does not emphasize much but because this is a professional certification course it's very important for you to have that knowledge is the practical knowledge. Once you have learned the concepts then the next is to see how will I be able to apply them in a given scenario. So that you can acquire by looking at few case studies and the other thing you can do is also go and look for uh, practical application areas in your organization where you will be able to apply these concepts through a project and thereby you can also enhance your knowledge. 
So that's broadly about knowledge acquisition and the preparation for IISSC. I've also given you almost idea of everything else. I think I did not talk about the marks. So totally uh, for these 100 questions, three hours, there are 500 marks and you would have to uh, get 385 marks and above to pass this examination. One of the other questions usually people ask is, what if I don't uh, clear this exam? You can always retake the exam. The procedure is mentioned in IISSE's website. Uh, always people ask one more question, which is how long is this certification valid? So this certification is actually uh, perennially valid, but after three years, the status of your certification would get changed. Uh, that does not impact you in any way. Your certification validity is perennial. Uh, so this is another question that people keep asking me. So I thought I will uh, mention that uh, as well here. Uh, the last point I want to mention before I wrap up is that in no way I'm a representative of IASSC and to know more about exactly the IASSC related um, uh, formats uh, and details, you would have to visit their website. Uh, before we wrap up this lecture, I'm going to give you an idea of what else is there in this course. Uh, the main content of this course are two practice tests. Each test would have 100 questions very similar to that of IASSC and you can go through those and it will give you a very good uh, idea of where you stand. So the suggestion I would give you is take the first test after you have prepared and then look at the answers, evaluate where the gaps are, then you take the second test thereby giving you an opportunity to revise in between. Uh, what else is there in this course? I've also added some information about uh, the various phases of Six Sigma. I've also included a case study that can give you some idea of how Six Sigma projects are implemented. That can only add further to your knowledge uh, about Six Sigma and that's why I've, I've added them. And they are in no way, I think, a replacement for a full-fledged uh, knowledge acquisition such as going through an online course or a book. So with that point, uh, I'm going to wish you all the best and uh, in case you have any clarifications, doubt, etc. in preparing for IASCC's examination, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.